In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a trigger-based area that will give your character experience points and how to show that on the screen. So if you'd like to learn out how to do that, then stick around and I will show you. Okay, so in the previous tutorial, I showed you how to create a experience points-based curve that would also level up your player and allow them to earn experience points and then generate new experience when they level up. And also take into account any... So first off, we're going to create our trigger-based area. And what we're going to do is we're just going to use a box trigger with a blueprint. Now I'm just going to drag this into the scene, and I'm going to add a new blueprint. And I'm going to call this trigger box blueprint. We'll just leave it at that. And then I will open it. Okay, so here's the trigger box blueprint, and now what we want to do is say that when the player passes through it, we want to give them experience points as if they've discovered a new location. So to do this, what we need is to go to the event graph and do the event actor begin overlap. So first off, I want to create a variable, and I want to create one named has been discovered, and we're leaving it as a boolean. And... For these tutorial purposes, obviously, I'm giving it the default value false, as we're saying this is a new game every time they load up. So on a branch, I want to check if this place has been discovered. And if it has been discovered, then we want to do nothing. Or if it hasn't been discovered, then we want to discover it. So instead, for good program practice, I'm going to get the not boolean. This is saying, has it not been discovered? And so instead of have has been discovered, we're having has not been discovered. And if it has not been discovered, then we want to discover it, and we want to cast to our first person character, as that's what we're using in this instance, using our other actor as our object. And now we need to, as first person character, earn XP. And you can give it any value you want. I'll give it the value of 210 so they can level up. And then we want to set has been discovered to true and compile, passing through. So now we have this one here. And I'm going to name this Town A. And now I can have many variations of this blueprint. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to scale it so we can walk through it. Move it up in the world. So now when I play, oh, that box explodes. And I walk through here, you can see I just leveled up as I experienced the new area. But when I walk back through it, I won't earn any more experience because the area has already been discovered. Now for the UI. So the UI we're just going to do very simply and there's going to be a link at the top of this video in the info card which is going to show you more examples of using the UI. So we're going to go to Widget Blueprint and I'm going to name this EXP Widget. And in there, I'm going to simply create a progress bar and place it somewhere in the screen. Now I'll, I'll do this down at the bottom so this isn't following Fallout exactly. And then we want some text. And we want three text boxes. So what we're going to do is we're also going to get a horizontal panel, horizontal box here. And we're going to put text box one in, another text box in there, and another. And then this horizontal box we're going to extend and the first text will be EXP earned that's what we'll call it and which text we'll leave at zero for now then the next one will be TXT slash and its text will just be a slash oh that's a text box we want text Sorry. So txt slash and then we want a slash and txt 
needed. And we'll have this at zero as well. And then what we're going to do is we're going to justify all these to the center. And we're going to set this to fill. So that is always going to fill the area. And then this is going to be our experience bar. And we'll give it a fill color of green to match. Oh, I did that the opposite way. To match the fallout style and we have it there now for the percentage we want to create a binding and the binding is just simply going to get the experience of the character so we're going to cast to our first person character uh, cast to first person character and as the first person character we want to get exp gained and also get exp needed we want to do float divided by float because we want the float value of this and we want gained divided by needed. Our object will be cast to player character. Get player character, sorry. And then this value will return there. And we'll also need another return node in case the cast fails where we'll give it a value of zero. So now, whenever this is divided by this, we're always going to get a percentage that will be in the percentage bar, because this will equal like 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, etc. Okay. Now we want the text, and the text we're going to bind. And this one's really simple. We're just going to cast to first person character again get player character and then as player character get exp gained and turn it into a string and then for the needed one we'll do the same so I'm just going to copy and paste all this in here but instead of exp gained we want exp needed and on cast fail we want to return the string value 0 this will be our return value and then we want to do the same here in the get the earn experience so we have all these return values now go to your first person blueprints and your game mode and do the same we always do open the full blueprint editor and on event begin play create this widget so create widget the widget class we want is our experience widget and we want to add it to the viewport again I'm going over this really quickly as I've done a few tutorials in the past about creating widgets adding them to the viewports so they will be available to view okay so now when we press play we have our experience bar in the bottom it's not exactly in the center but you could do that yourself and when we go through here you'll see we now have 10 experience of the 800 we need and if I just press the F button you can see our experience bar increasing and every time we level up it goes back to normal and this is a really good way to view your experience points curve because you're able to see the leveling up system in progress. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did, or leave a dislike if you didn't. If your opinions are otherwise, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, or advice, just leave it in the comments down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. As always, there's always Twitter, where my handle is at Sam underscore BA underscore Jones 97. And as always, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks, guys. Bye.